if the argument you're making is anything to go by, it's something that may be worth considering if, if it's going to, for instance, enable the creation of special agendas and so on and so forth. But should it be by a constitutional amendment or by legislation? Quick one. Which one? The, the creation of team, the capping? Yes. Oh, I'm saying that it or cannot be. Practice is enough. I think it. I I think that in the best of all possible worlds, the conventional practice is enough. Um, of course, uh, people are always afraid that there could be some really, you know, evil-minded uh, executive that would decide that I'm going to do my own thing and I'm going to. Uh, put the, you know, to, I'm going to appoint, what, uh, 30, 30 uh, Supreme Court judges. I think that would be very difficult. You see, because the process, imperfect though it is, the president just doesn't get up and uh, say, uh-huh, I've nominated 20 people. No. The nominations to the Supreme Court originate from where? From the Judicial Council, which is also a different body chaired by the Chief Justice. So the pre the, uh, such a president will need the buy-in of the, 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 the Chief Justice who is chairing and, and the, 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 the Judicial Council, which is made up of um, yes, in my view, too many. There are too many people on the judicial council who come, who are nominated by the, the president. I, I've always felt that's that's an overkill. But on the whole, most of the membership is ex officio: the judge advocate general, the head of legal police, the president the national president of the bar, and then the repre uh, representatives from the regional bars, um, the dean of the University of Ghana School of Law. It, 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 and, and then, uh, yeah, so, so that is, uh, and then judges. Judges from, there'll be a Supreme Court judge, there'll be a, a High Court judge, a, a, a Court of Appeals judge. And, and so on and so forth. So all these people, they're not just going to sit there and a whole bunch of uh, yahoos uh, appointed as justices of the Supreme Court. Not even, not even judges or magistrates, let alone justices of the Supreme Court. So conventional. Conventional, mm -hmm. but the conventional practice has its own imperfection. Yes, but but other than other than if we're prepared to go through a constitutional amendment, that provision will have to be by referendum because it's a, it's part it, it is it will be tinkering with uh, uh, entrenched provisions. Yes. 